A great question is, so you diagnose the brain injury, so what? What are you going to do about it? And uh, in fact, that's been uh, a question that has been used to, to say that biomarkers are really not needed or irrelevant. Uh, the truth is, in fact, there are no FDA-approved therapies for a treatment of acute injury to the brain other than TPA for a stroke, for ischemic stroke. So there's a, 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 firm, a, a term called uh, theronostics, where you combine therapy and diagnostics, and uh, the, uh, this is the approach that people are taking in a variety of injury and disease states, such as cancer, but the way medicine wants to go and it will go is that ultimately you'll have your entire genome available to your physician. All that predicts. Craig Ventner now is, of course, on a massive project. He's, he mapped his own genome, a very interesting uh, act, but he's now mapping the genomes of hundreds of other people so that you need to understand the variability in the genome in humans and how that predicts vulnerability to disease. When we have that, which we will, and we have huge data sets on all, all the behavior of our biomarkers, we're creating what's called a common data elements in traumatic brain injury, very exciting effort. Uh, the medicine of the future will be deeply embedded in huge data sets that sit in the cloud and uh, that will allow an, a physician uh, with the same facility that we get an iTunes uh, downloaded to download uh, information that would personalize the therapy for you.